Hi, I'm Karandeep Singh. I'm 17, a student at Singapore Polytechnic, and a developer of a, few of a few cool apps on the App Store. I recently built an app, the WWDC 22 Shift Student Challenge, and won. After having interactions with people with hearing impairments, I realized that very few people could communicate in sign language, and this could cause them to feel isolated. So I built an app called AS Learn. AS Learn aims to teach sign language in an interactive manner to make life a little, little easier for those among us with hearing impairments. It makes use of machine learning to help teach American Sign Language. You may be wondering, why not Singapore Sign Language? Machine learning models require data. It's hard to find data for Singapore Sign Language, and I had a deadline, so I couldn't build my own data set. In the future, I hope to support FGSL and BSL too. Let's get started. So by 2050, 2.5 billion people are projected to face hearing, hearing issues. So sign language is important. Now, uh, my app works with both left and right hands. Let's go to left hands for now. Okay, machine learning is, is not an exact science. It requires very specific conditions. Like it needs a plain background, for example, like the one behind me. So when you start a new programming language, it's custom to say the words, hello world. And we're gonna do that in American Sign Language now. Okay, permissions, all right. So on the top, you can see that this is the sign, the letter H. I'm gonna to try to imitate that. Let's do this now. So this image was now passed down to the uh, Deep Lab image, uh, sorry, to the Deep Lab machine learning model, which removed the background from the image. So only my hand gesture was shown. And this was then passed to the ASL machine learning model, which I built, and that classifies the gesture to an alphabet. Let's go for E. Well, perfect. Let's try L. Not so lucky this time. Hello world has two L's, so let's try the second one. Let's skip this again. Some letters will be more accurate than others. That's just because of the amount of data I have. Now, of course, the more data you have, the better your machine learning, like, uh, your machine learning model will be. But if you have lesser data, you have to have lots of workarounds, like my deep lab implementation, which removes the image background. It's still not perfect, but I hope to improve this in the future and launch it on the App Store. Machine learning models can take months to build and tune. I did it in 10 days with the core ML image classifier, not even a custom solution. And the data set was a generic one from Kaggle. It's not perfect. At the moment, AS Learn is a proof of concept with a functional interface and usable but not ideal accuracy. But even after the mission, I plan to keep improving it. And hopefully, one day, you'll have this in the App Store as an accurate solution that can really help people. Thank you for listening to me today. I hope you learned something. Be on the lookout for this app.